What's up, everybody? It's Shislava, and welcome back to a brand new video, where today I'm going to be trying to explain to you guys how to fix lag issues in OBS with literally a one button fix. It doesn't even take a lot of knowledge about the OBS program. You literally only have to click one button, and bam, you're fixed. Or at least, hopefully, this will work for more than one person, because that's how it worked for me. So I'm just going to move OBS over to my second monitor so I can preview what I'm seeing. And, as you can see, there is a whole lot of lag issues going on with uh, my recording. It's not smooth whatsoever. There's nothing about this recording that is good to look at. It is awful. However, this is a step that I took to fix it. All you have to do is you have to right click on your preview window and disable it while you're recording. Now, of course, you want to enable the preview and fix everything how you like it before you start recording. And then after you start recording, just disable your preview. You're not gonna be able to see what you're doing. However, when you go back and actually start playing the game again, not only will your experience be smoother, your recording will be a whole lot smoother and record a whole lot smoother because your computer is not trying to push all that it's doing back at you and it can do a much better job at working with the video and encoding the video. And if you're still having a lot of issues, I would recommend recording in game capture. I had to record this in display capture to show you me actually doing the trick in OBS, but if I actually switch over to game capture right now, now I have switched over to game capture with my preview window still disabled and as you can see, it is a lot smoother and uh, it fixed my issues even more. So those are technically two steps that you can take to fix some of your recordings in OBS. And um, there's some other things that you can do, like turning down your in-game settings. As you can see, if I turn my settings down to low, then you should get a slightly better experience even that way. But if you want to play at all epic settings, this should help if your computer is powerful enough to run all epic settings in the first place. Also, one more quick thing that you can do is in your settings, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, and this will only work if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can go over to your recording tab and you can record with the NVIDIA NVNC H.264 new. Make sure that it says new. And if you don't have this option, make sure that you update your OBS and then you should have this option if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an AMD graphics card, you're not going to have this option, but if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, definitely use this option. It's much better than your .264 and also the original NVIDIA uh, NVENC.264 settings. So anyway, those are a couple of tips that you can use to make your recordings a whole lot smoother. Most likely not all of the tips improved your recording, but I hope that at least one of them improved your recording a little bit. If this video did help you, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also liking this video. Anyway, I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.